Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda Bashran. Welcome to MMA News Leak and my weekly vlog. Today we're going to talk about how do you know your blood type. Most people think that they get it when they get standard blood work done at their doctors, and that's not true. We only get it if we're going to anticipate giving you blood for some reason, or if for whatever reason we need to know it for medical reasons. So today we're going to demonstrate how do you do it from a home kit so you can figure out what your blood type is and then possibly follow a blood type diet. So, like we talked about last time, there's four different types of blood types. A, B, AB, and O. There's also whether you're A plus or positive or A negative. So the two systems really have to do with a little tagged marker that's on your red blood cells. Each one has its unique tag, except O. O doesn't have any. And if you're a plus or a minus, positive or negative, for your blood type, that's going to have a little marker that detects that. So, in the home kit, how we figure out how you, what blood type you are is based on how they combine with um, different factors. So, I'm going to take the blood and put it on a card that has these little proteins. Now, if you're a blood type A, and you have anti-A markers, it's going to clump up. So we're going to be able to know what blood type you are based on a process of elimination. So we'll go through that when we do the actual test. The card right now has a protein on each one of these circles that represents anti-A, anti-B, anti-D, and a control. The anti-D determines if you are a positive or negative of whatever blood type you are. The anti-A, anti-B, and the control help us know if you're O, A, B, A, or B. Anti-A is going to clump up if you are A. Anti-B is going to clump up if you're B. If you're A, B, they're both going to clump up, and if you're an O, neither will, because O is the only one that doesn't have any protein markers on it for A or B. It won't clump up an anti or a protein marker that's going to like kill the blood cell. So, I'm going to get the blood sample, wipe it down with alcohol, poke, milk out some blood into each one of these little spoons. And then mix it with the proteins that are on the card. Now, when you do this, you don't want to mix them up because then the protein from one compartment and the other might collide and then you're not going to have a very accurate test. Sorry if I'm squeezing too hard. Okay, then once you do this, you want to kind of mix it up on the card just so that the protein in the circle really has a chance to either clump or not clump depending on what it's going to do. So right now I'm just going to rotate the card just a little bit so that the blood has a chance to interact within each circle. And you're going to do this about 10 seconds one way, 10 seconds another way, you can already see that there's some clumping starting on some of these circles. Remember the control one doesn't have any protein markers that are going to clump up with the blood. It lets us know that the test is being done accurately and that there wasn't a false negative or a weak read. So, hypothetically you want to let it dry, but if you look at this, you have a really smooth control. So the smooth control doesn't have any proteins that are going to bind up with the blood type. So you see here that already anti-A is binding up, and anti-B is not. The anti-D, remember, it tells you if you're a positive or negative of your blood type. So just by looking at this, I'm going to say that this person is a A-positive blood type because 
he has blood type A, and the anti-A combines with it and creates a reaction that breaks up the blood cells and creates this kind of what we call clumping effect. It's not smooth like the control, because the control doesn't have any proteins. Anti-B with an A isn't going to matter, because anti-B is not going to affect an A, and he's not B because it's smooth and it didn't clump up and destroy the red blood cells. For a positive, they're going to have markers that are going to work against an anti-D protein. So if he's a positive blood type, the anti-D marker is going to clump up and destroy the red blood cell like we see right here. So I could say that this gentleman is a A positive blood type. Description. And we call the binding of the proteins agglutination. And so for O positive, you can see how all the circles are smooth because it doesn't have any proteins. But remember, the third circle identified if they're positive or negative. So they have the markers that will break up a positive versus the O negative where all of them are smooth because there's none of the proteins at all. Not for A, anti-A, anti-B, or the anti plus minus, which is in reality called anti-D. But we didn't really talk about that in a lot of detail just to keep the conversation simple. So A positive, it clumps up on the anti-A because that destroys it and the anti-D, which is the third column, and the A minus, or the A negative, just clumps up in the A, because the third column means that he's negative, and then so on and so forth. B clumps up for the B column, the anti-B, if they're positive, the third column is going to clump up. And then AB blood type, because they have anti-A and anti-B working against it, is going to have all three of them clump up if you're AB positive, and if you're just AB, you're going to have the two clump up, destroying the red blood cells. So in conclusion, this is what a home kit will look like, and you can they always provide you with a grid so it's really easy to follow to identify what kind of blood type you are. If you're interested in doing a home kit, which is a little bit simpler than going to your doctor, you can go to Eldon Biologicals, and their website is www.eldoncard.com, E-L-D-O-N-C-A-R-D, Dot com and purchase one. Please don't make any major medical decisions based on a home-based kit for obvious reasons. However, it's sufficient for a blood type diet. If you want to have your doctor draw it for you, they can certainly send you to a lab or sometimes they'll draw it in the office and you'll be able to identify it a little bit more precisely and be able to get that information that way too.